Hey GPNZ crew, Sam here, giantpumpkins.co.nz, how's it going? Hey, there's my pumpkin growing there, the plant is a little bit hammered, but let's not worry about that. Today, I'm talking about measuring your giant pumpkin and estimating its weight. It's pretty simple, you have to just do three measurements. I haven't really done a video on this before and I thought, well, everybody's measuring right now and I probably should do a video. So, we're going to talk about it, I'm going to first show you roughly how to do it with this pool, beach ball, volleyball thing. Pool volleyball, that's what it's called. And uh, after that, we'll then go and check out and estimate my pumpkin's weight. For this, all you really need is a tape measure. Uh, usually you want a flexible sort of uh, normal one, but if you don't have one of these and you only have a normal builder's tape measure that pulls out, what you want to do is you want to use a piece of string. And with that string, you want to mark it or hold it and have someone help you and then lay that up against the normal tape measure to get the length. So like I said, you take three measurements, you add them together, that figure will then tell you an estimate of your pumpkin's weight. Some really clever people worked out the averages of giant pumpkins over many years, made some tables. Now the tables are on my website, so giantpumpkins.co.nz forward slash weight. If you go there, at the bottom you'll see some PDF files and there's just a big table. You find your number and then it'll tell you what your pumpkin's estimation is. Uh, they're in kilos or pounds, depends which way you want to work. For kilos, you want to measure in centimeters. For pounds, you want to measure in inches. If you're talking to a lot of the American growers, they'll be dealing in pounds and inches, so that may be helpful for you. What you can also do is there is a weight calculator. Now, I've got that on the website. I've built that. It's one of the best in the world, and I've got people coming to check that out every single day, all through the year. It's real quick and easy, you pick centimeters or inches, you uh, put in your three measurements, and it'll tell you what your pumpkin's estimation is. Uh, there's a summary button, if you wanna click that, you can copy and paste that as well. It's very cool. I'm gonna be working on a better version of that, uh, probably in the off season, so keep an eye out for that. But let's get into it. So, you're gonna do three measurements. One of them is blossom end to stem end, so in my example, we're going to measure from there, from the ground, all the way up and over to the other side. Then we're going to measure the other way, like that. And then we're going to measure all the way around. And that's going to give us three measurements. So here's our ball. Basically what you want to do, now this ball's perfectly round, well it should be. A perfect sphere, I guess. And the measurements should be all the same. With a pumpkin it's a bit different, so we're going to go to the ground. This is where there's some variation. Uh, this is where you wanna, you know, if you have to, you can do multiple measurements on the same day. So I'm gonna say that is around 77 uh, centimeters. We're gonna go the other way, like that. Yep, that's the same. And then we would go around the pumpkin Obviously this is moving, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, with a pumpkin you'll have a stem on one end as well. Um, yep, and going that way it's 94. So it'd be 94, 77, 77. Add those three together, punch it into the calculator, and that would give you an estimate of your pumpkin's weight. Let's go check out my actual pumpkin though. Okay, this is where things get a bit different. Um, as you can see, this pumpkin's really weird shaped. It's not growing exactly on its side as you'd like. It's growing on the back of its vine. So there's only so much we can do. Um, but this will give us a rough... So I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna call that at 124, 124 centimeters. Now I'm bringing up the weight calculator on my phone. I can um, chop pumpkins on weight. There is a mobile version which you can save to your homepage as well if you want, it's pretty simple. Uh, it just doesn't show you the PDFs and the blurb about it. Uh, so we are going to go end to end. 124, that's done. This side to side measurement's the one that's gonna be a bit weird because the pumpkin's such a weird shape. Um, and it's just sitting funny. So I can feel where the ground is there. I don't need to see where this, my left hand is. 
this one here is going to go across here. It's not the best. 130. So we're going to put that into the calculator. It'd be side to side 130. It's uh, easy. And then we want to do circumference, and you want that at the same height above the ground. Like I said, a bit weird this one. Uh, I'm going to go through there because it's sort of where the biggest part of the pumpkin is. Um, 184. We'll punch that in. 184. Uh, that gives me a 438 centimeters, which is the total OTT over the top method. Um, my pumpkin's estimated to be 55 kilos. And last time I did this, last week, it was about 45 kilos. So it's put on about 10 kilos. Uh, size wise, that looks about right. So there we go. Uh, it's the best method we've got unless you do want to grow on a set of scales some growers overseas have done that big platform scales and every time you can figure out what's growing but for average people normal people normal growers that haven't gone full crazy this is the way to do it you want to do the three measurements you know sometimes the measurements are way out like when you take that pumpkin and actually get it weighed on proper scales it could be out by 10 or 20 percent or it could be bang on i've seen both and you just never know because you don't know how thick the wall is inside that pumpkin it could be that thick or that thick with the really really giant pumpkins and you only find that out later when we chop it open to get the seeds out i hope that's been helpful i hope that sort of shows how easy it is it really is easy and you can try it a couple of times and see if you get different figures if you've got other people that are growing uh, in your same group or family or friends or neighbors get them to measure it as well and see if you get the same figures because i bet if somebody else came and measured that they'd get a slightly different figure like i said giantpumpkins.co.nz forward slash weight real simple go there check it out hope this has been helpful uh, as always i'm sam giantpumpkins.co.nz check out everything that's happening there and uh, let me know what's happening with your pumpkin we have show us your pumpkin sunday uh, lots of activity there thanks to everyone shout out to jill luke and the catherines there's two catherines so these guys are really active and everybody else that checks it out thank you so much until next time i'm sam